So based on the title, you already know what this video is about. But before I start, I just wanted to say that I am not diagnosed with any mental illness, mental health problem, whatever you want to call it. So this whole video is going to be about my personal experiences and the conclusions that I have reached due to those, okay? Hello people of the internet, Sword here, thanks for dropping by. So recently on YouTube there has been this campaign talking about mental health in an effort to make people feel more comfortable about opening up about their own issues. So I have been thinking about making this video for a while, but seeing these other videos, uh, Mental Illness and Me, kind of prompted me to finally actually do it. So. I am at the very beginning stages of addressing a problem that has become increasingly worse ever since I first came to college a year ago, which is anxiety. And yes, this is different from the occasional nerves everyone feels when they're about to give a presentation or about to go talk to a crush. Not to discredit those feelings, because that can also be part of someone's anxiety as well, but for me personally, it goes further than common situations. Yes, absolutely, I get nervous when I'm about to present, but those feelings are nothing compared to the pounding of my heart and the tightness of my chest when I think the professor is about to call on me. The same thing happens when I have to make a phone call. I will do everything possible to get someone else to do it for me, but in the situations where I'm the only one who can do it and a phone call is the only way to contact someone, it takes an hour or two of hyping myself up to finally dial the number. I get the same feeling when I'm about to go interview strangers, which is a problem for me because I'm a journalism major and I love interviewing people, but it scares me beyond all belief and the anxiety rears its ugly head when I'm about to walk into it. And when I mess up in social situations, the incidences will play again and again in my head until I go to sleep that night. And even then, sometimes instances from months and years ago will also suddenly pop up in my head and the feeling of embarrassment and shame still feels pretty fresh. So recently an overwhelming feeling has kind of ebbed and flowed in my life. I've had a lot of good days where I'm happy and at peace and everything's all right, but I've had a fair amount of days where I wonder if I can handle everything going on. And for friends, family, loved ones, especially parents, please know I'm all right. This sounds really bad when you are just listing off every single thing that makes you anxious and that you're having to deal with. But for right now, I am dealing with it. Grades are still fine. I am still writing for that student magazine. I am still enjoying the college experience, I'm just at a point where I'm noticing that anxiety is posing a problem and I want to do something about it. So I've booked an appointment with a therapist that insurance is going to cover. There's, out of all the therapists in the Athens area, there are only two that insurance will cover, which in a way is kind of a blessing because there are only two to consider, so that's nice, but it also means I'm very limited. So I'm just hoping that one of these two will be able to help me. And side note about therapist, uh, for those of you who don't have insurance, which I know is a lot, I'm just blessed that my parents do. Um, but keep in mind that a lot of therapists, psychologists, they work on a sliding scale. So that means that if you are in a tough spot financially, they will work with you because they really, they want to help you even if you can't pay the full price. Because yeah, therapy can be pretty expensive. So please keep that in mind if you are considering getting help. 
please do it because your mental health is really important and I promise someone is going to work with you and help you. So that is what I've been dealing with here recently. Um, I, like I said, I'm not diagnosed with anything, but the conclusion I'm reaching is like, anxiety, social anxiety, that spear. Um, and I know that is, there are a lot of other people who are dealing with this too. And kind of the whole point of these videos, it's not a pity party saying, woe is me, I'm getting anxious. It is to develop this community of support that we're all here for each other and if you're dealing with something just to know that we believe you we don't think this is a cry for attention because none of this is none of these videos the ones I make or anyone else makes they're not for just for attention we're not lying about what we're dealing with because if we were doing it for attention it would be so much easier to pretend to be a completely healthy, well-functioning human, but that's not reality. And with this platform, honesty is really big. Honesty is something that we want to perpetuate. So that's why we talk about mental health and things like that. So, all that said, just know that if you are struggling with something, please know that there are people who love you, there are people who want to help you, and you can get through this, okay? I'm here for you. There are other people who are definitely there for you, more in person, but virtual can also be nice too, to talk to people. So. That is all I have to talk about this week. I will keep you all updated on my mental health journey. Keep that conversation going as new things happen. Maybe after first appointment, I'll make a video about that and kind of like monthly check in. Not every month, but every few months check in or something like that. We'll see. We'll see what happens, you know? So, till next time, stay sharp my friends.